guys, what's going on? It's Dog with a vlog coming to you guys with a brand new video. Now today is gonna probably be my first video of 2016. Um, I'm kind of just calling this video um, like what's next for Dog with a vlog. Um, and I just kind of want to talk about my plans for 2016 in terms of the channel, in terms of the content, and in terms of what I want to do with sneakers just personally. Um, and, and just kind of tell you guys what to expect in 2016 if um, you're a long time subscriber who's like been subscribed for a while because that's what long time subscriber means if you're a long time subscriber then you know I I, I want to thank you for sort of being subscribed supporting me supporting what I'm doing it really does mean a lot um, I don't take it for granted at all this year I had said that I was shooting for 300 um, subscribers in like 2015 I think we're gonna probably cap out the year just below 245 which is not very many but in terms of like the fact that starting this year I had about like 30 um, probably less than that honestly I had probably less than 30 subscribers at the beginning of this year um, I'm super happy with with the progression that we've made and it's because of you guys it's because of um, you guys fucking with the content and supporting what I'm doing and supporting me and and all I really want to do is just give you guys me and who I am and what I enjoy you know on on YouTube I started um, my channel because I didn't really have anybody to talk sneakers with and you guys kind of gave me a way to talk sneakers with people and just sort of share what I was picking up and 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 to you guys you know to like normal people the amount of sneakers that, that sneakerheads buy and that we buy is like it's a problem but for you guys it's just part of it and it's really refreshing and that's why I started my channel and I started this whole expand your brand thing that I've been doing of like buying new brands trying new things because nowadays so many people are just so oh if it's not Air Jordan I don't want to wear it so um if it's not Adidas not Yeezy I don't want to wear it but I'm just trying to show people that especially young people I'm um, a lot of people who are like in my age group like in their you know like late teens early 20s really kind of have it set in their mind that like if it's not like a PE or it's not a collaboration shoe or it's not something super exclusive they can't wear it but like like they like they're not allowed to wear inline sneakers um, or GR sneakers and I just want to show people that like especially young people that it's okay to wear what you want to like and it's okay to like if you want to wear Nike then you can wear Nike if you want to wear you know Asics, you can wear Asics. Like I, I'm just trying to show people that it doesn't really matter what you're wearing, um, as long as you like it. And and who gives a fuck what anyone else thinks? Like you're wearing it for you. And that's why I started the channel. And I hope that this through, through this channel, there are people who who can see that, who can understand that. Like yeah, the shoe may not be a big hype brand. It may not have been a camp out on Saturday release, but. Um, this is a cool shoe and I'm glad that I'm wearing it I hope that people will feel that way when they put on shoes because that's how I feel when I put on shoes and I want people to feel the same way so for you guys to have supported me and put me in a position um, where I can sort of feel like I'm actually impacting people even if it is only the 240 subscribers that I have I am super super grateful um, and I want to just kind of jump into this coming year 2016 and what I plan to do. The first thing I plan to do is bringing back um, the consistency of the channel that we had going with the holiday seasons. It just gets so busy for me and you know, buying presents for people, working the two jobs, crazy holiday hours and like finals and stuff like that. So I'm really, um, it just gets so hectic. It's hard to balance YouTube and everything else that's going on. So I'm going to be um, Definitely bringing the content more consistently in 2016 with the sneaker news on Monday, doghouse discussions on Thursdays, and sneaker rotations on Sunday every week along with the other videos sprinkled in between. There's a channel updates video um, that's also going to be in this playlist. If you just want to click down, you'll be able to see it. Um, however, so that's kind of the whole main thing with the channel is nothing really is going to change with the channel. I'm just going to keep making the videos that I've been making because you guys seem to really like them. Um, and I'm happy with that. I'm super happy that you guys enjoy the content. So I'm gonna just continue making the videos that you guys have liked and hopefully be able to add some things, do some experimental stuff with the way that we make the videos. But as of right now, the channel really isn't gonna change that much. In terms of goals, we are shooting for 500 subscribers by the end of 2016. Now 500 is not that much and we can do it. If you guys, you know, just keep sharing the content, keep enjoying the videos the way that you've been enjoying them, you know, we can eventually hit that goal and I'm hoping the new content that I'm bringing um, and doing more consistently will bring people to the channel. 
because I just want to make a YouTube channel that people can enjoy, that people can like and people can get into. And so if you guys just keep sharing and keep supporting, we can hit that 500 subscriber mark by the end of 2016. And I'm super pumped about that. Um, also, just for sneaker picking up in general, with 2015, I was really all about expanding my brand. Now I'm kind of looking where I found some of the brands that I like. I enjoy the Asics, Saucony, New Balance, you know, Adidas especially. And I definitely now just want to go back and expand on some of the silhouettes that I really enjoy. More Ultra Boost, more Gel Light 3s, more 574s, just more New Balance in general. Um, and just definitely expand on some of the kicks that um, I, I'm sort of collecting and um, and the brand, expand on the brands that I've been collecting in 2015 and just expand on that and introduce new colors, new models, and sort of just find my favorites. There were a lot of shoes this year that I just didn't really care for that I picked up um, and I kind of got them and I was like, well, I don't know what to do with these. I'm actually um, going to be selling a lot of shoes, so there will probably be an updates video on that sometime in the next month or so, just some of the shoes that I'm getting rid of. But there was a lot of shoes that I didn't really care for, so I am definitely trying to... Um, to sort of collect what I like now and, and, and really collect the silhouettes and the colorways that I like um, and also but also keep it new keep it fresh keep it keep it fresh for you guys and because that's the goal is just keep it fresh keep making new content that keeps you guys interested keeps you guys excited so that's what I'm doing for my New Year's resolution I'm not putting a limit on shoes I think in 2015 I ended up buying about 30 pairs of shoes which is the most shoes I've ever bought in a year um, so I definitely want to sort of follow suit with that, um, I'm not putting a age or a number cap. I'm not putting anything like that. I do plan on just copying the shoes that I want to cop, and not really worrying about the number figuring out at the end of the year. So we're just gonna keep doing that. Um, let me know down in the comments what your guys' New Year's resolution is gonna be for 2016. If there's anything that you plan on picking up, if there's anything that you plan on doing in 2016, it doesn't have to be sneaker related. It can be though. I mean, it's a sneaker channel, um, and just let me know because I definitely want to get to know you guys and definitely um, any brands or any silhouettes that you want me to try out, leave in the, in the comments and I'll definitely look into it because I, I want to try new shoes. I want to wear new shoes. I want to find new shoes. So let me know down in the comments. I hope this video kind of got you guys up to speed. Like I said, thank you for an amazing 2015. If you haven't seen it yet, go check out my top 15 sneakers of 2015, which I will leave a link to in the description. Um, but until then, or until next time, I guess, it is Dog with the Vlog, and I will talk to you guys super, super soon. Peace.